Hi, I'm Brady Reardon. I'm a junior in the Scarlet Oaks Diesel Program, and today we are going to be talking about slip and trip hazards in the shop and good housekeeping. So, over here we have a jack uh, jacked up on a truck, but the mechanic working on this left the handle down. So, as you're walking, carrying whatever you need to be carrying, you come and you trip over this, and you fall and need to get hurt. That's a big problem. So, the ways you can avoid that is to get this up. Lock it in place and make sure it don't fall. Now over here we have the air hose supplying this jack. And as you can see it's laying across the ground in a nice little hallway that you can use to walk through. <laughs> so, some ways you can keep this out of the way is to make sure it's all the way on the ground and either put it up in the air. Alright, so. So here we're in the shop at Scarlet Oaks and we are looking at this international and you can see it had a it had a leak. So this is how you fix it. You clean it up, you just pour some kitty litter on it, just dry and soak it up. Now right by the camera is another leak that we just found and that's why we're going over it. So we can get some kitty litter and dump it on there. Here we have another trip hazard, uh, the extension cords are in the way, you can be walking and trip. And over here Walking down the little aisle way, you can trip on this top of the trailer. Those hurt. Uh, just knowing, knowing your shop surroundings pretty much is how you do not, you can have a safe environment to work in. And going on that, you can trip. You could hit your leg on this. You could trip over the forks on the forklift coming off the ground. Your foot could get stuck in here. Just everything is a trip hazard pretty much. You just need to know your shop surroundings.